The International Committee of the Red Cross has vowed to continue delivering aid to northeast Nigeria, despite the fact that about six of its workers were among those killed in the accidental air strike that left over 50 people dead and many injured in Rand community. The ICRC asks that it is coordinating medical emergency efforts with the authorities and other aid agencies. In addition, medical charity MSF says it will work with the Nigerian army to ensure such a horrific tragedy does not happen again. MSF says at least 52 people were killed and 120 others wounded. Meanwhile, President Muhammad Buhari has commiserated with the families of the dead and the Bono state government on the tragedy. A Nigeria Air Force plane wrongly dropped a bomb on the community, an incident which the military has described as a mistake. President Buhari also pled federal government's assistance to the state government in what it calls a regrettable operational mistake. The rights organization Human Rights Watch says the Nigerian government should compensate victims of the IDP camp in the northeast that was mistakenly bombed by the military on Tuesday. The attack took place near the border with Cameroon where the military is engaged in what it calls its final push against Boko Haram. Morsi Shegmo, a senior researcher at Human Rights Watch in Nigeria, says that prompt, adequate and effective compensation is needed even though there is no evidence of a willful attack on the camp. She adds that, quote, victims should not be denied redress merely because the government decided the bombing was accidental. Mean meanwhile, the theater commander of Operation Lafia Dole, Brigadier General Loki Rabo, has been speaking on the unfortunate incident in Rand local government. He described it as disturbing and he explained that the troops embarked on the bombing after they received information of movement of Boko Haram members in the area. The actual figures are not yet available, but um, um, it's quite, it's, so far, it's a little bit disturbing. Um, why? Because deaths have occurred. If it were just wounded, um, of course, I uh, wouldn't uh, be, I mean, we will do everything possible to ensure that those that are wounded, you know, uh, at least there is hope and they still have life. We are sending helicopters to go to rescue or to evacuate those that are critically wounded that require very urgent medical attention. Apart from what our troops on ground are also doing. And then other still issues, of course, um, are being uh, addressed. Uh, certainly not um, good enough. It would be better for us to end it for everyone to support the security agencies to ensure that the madness come to a speedy end, that peace return to every nook and cranny of the northeast, so that we can live our normal lives again. As part of efforts to enhance relationship between the adherents of the two main religions in the country, the Kwara State Government has opened a two-day international conference to find lasting solutions to the recurring crisis. Speakers at the event, which includes the Sultan of Sokoto, al Haj Muhammad Sahad Abubakar, and the Governor of Kwara State, Abdul Fattah Ahmed, are calling on Muslims and Christians to avoid suspicions and unite in condemning and fighting criminals who hide under religious guise. The crisis of religion, ethnicity, political violence, kidnapping, insurgency are a source of worry for any nation. Solutions. Government officials, religious leaders and other stakeholders gather in Kwara State for a two-day international conference to openly discuss the issues. At the event, the governor of Kwara State, Abdul Fattah Ahmed, says nothing meaningful can be achieved where security and peace is lacking. As a government sworn to promote the welfare and security of its citizens and residents, we stand determined to jealously guard and rigorously sustain the peace existing in our state and the harmony among adherents of our various religions and cultures. A speaker from the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia calls for synergy between the two countries to fight insurgency. While the former secretary of the Christian Association of Nigeria, Kwara State Chapter, is seeking for more tolerance among religious leaders and the people. I beg that 
that level of accommodating people's opinion, people's view, should be raised because we are in a time that we should stop deceiving ourselves, we should say it as it is and look for solutions together. The Sultan of Sokoto, who is also the President General of the Supreme Council for Islamic Affairs, reiterates that Islam does not allow for the killing of innocent people and calls for peace to reign in the nation. I've said it times without number. They could profess to be Muslims, yes. What they are doing is anti-Islam, it's against the Holy Quran, it's against the decrees, the dictates of Almighty Allah, and they are going to hell for committing murder unjustly. Various papers will be presented here within the next two days, stating different views and hopefully the communique reached will impact on the search for peace and unity across the country. Still to come on Network Africa, Zimbabwe banned street food vendors in a bid to stop typhoid fever outbreak. Stay with us.